Hello all. In this video, I am going to demonstrate uh, uh, GRE tunnel using uh, software defined network. So, GRE is a tunneling protocol developed by Cisco and this is used to connect uh, two or more remote sites together so as to appear as a single network. Uh, in this block, I will show you how to tunnel two isolated network using uh, software defined network. So this is the same logic can be used for real time environment uh, to connect site to site tunneling. To set up this in, uh, environment, uh, so I created uh, two uh, uh, compute hosts and uh, the two compute hosts are uh, connected uh, physically using common switch and uh, the compute node IP address is 192 subnet uh, and, uh, and the internal uh, uh, instance subnet is uh, 10 series. Uh, so though though they are in 10 series, uh, it is isolated uh, by default. Uh, uh, the instance one in the compute one will not be able to uh, reach instance of the uh, compute node two. So to our goal is to uh, achieve uh, the tunneling uh, between the two instance, sorry between the two compute host, uh, so that uh, the instance. <coughs> hosted on the compute one uh, will be reachable to the instance hosted on the compute uh, two right so what are the prerequisites right so prerequisite uh, the compute host and compute host one and two are uh, uh, having ubuntu 14.04 uh, uh, operating system and uh, each compute host uh, should have a software bridge utils open v switch common or uh, open switch switch right and bridge util uh, package provides the uh, bridging functions the native linux bridging functions and open v switch and uh, common uh, provides the open uh, obs technology right so that's all about uh, uh, this session uh, let us show you the demo. All right. So I created two operating system, uh, host one and uh, host two running on a virtual box. Okay. So host one IP address is 192.168.1.10 and host two is uh, uh, 192.11. So by default, these uh, two IPs are able to ping 192.168. Uh, 1.11 right uh, let me verify uh, if uh, software is already installed to dpkg hyphen l right bridge util is already installed o open v switch Open with I am splitting uh, the overall activity into three stage. The first stage we will create an uh, instance, we will create a uh, each pair, and we will create a bridge. Second stage we will establish connection between the VM instance to the bridge using V81. Right. Third stage, I will create a open V switch and establish a connection between bridge and open V switch. So using V pair 2. So these are the three stages and the three stages has to set up on both the compute host and finally i have to establish a gra tunnel so that uh, the 10.1.01 ip is able to reach 10.0.0.2 hope you understand let me show you the demo so stage 1 Stage 1, I have to uh, create an instance 
bridge and I have to establish connection between instance and, and the bridge. So instead of instance, I will create a uh, namespace, system namespace. So to create the system namespace, IP net ns add ns1. So ns1, right? So ns1 system instance created. Right? Next step, I have to create a bridge. We are to be our internal. So let me create BR CTL add BR BR add BR add bridge. So BR CTL show so bridge is created. So bridge is uh, nothing but a uh, uh, learning switch next up see if config so bridge is not appearing in the if config list so i have to uh, make that bridge active ip link set device bridge and our bridge name is br int up once you made it up uh, you will see that uh, br int appear in the uh, root namespace right so next i'll i'm going to create a, a cable that is v8 pair to connect between uh, bridge and the instance so I created uh, which where the tap one will be connected to the uh, instance and BR tap one will be connected to the bridge. Right? So IP link will show the tap devices. So BR tap one, tap one, and state is down. So next, I'll add the attach the BR tap one to the bridge using this command brctl add if BR hyphen int BR tap one. So one end is connected, so other end should connect to namespace. Add IP link set tap on net ns ns1. So connection is done. So now so now uh, if you see uh, difference between the previous stage to this stage, you know uh, the tap device the 24 ID 24 is missing here now. So because uh, it was attached to the uh, namespace na? So, uh, so it will disappear here, right? Nice. So, and it is in down mode. We have to activate this uh, interface. Next. So, I am activating this interface. Still, it is in down mode. 
and i have to activate the other end of the interface okay br tap on which is connected to the instance so now the state is changed to up so now uh, let me uh, go into the uh, instance ip netns execute uh, ns1 ns1 is the name of the instance bash f config so i don't have any uh, ip address assigned to the uh, interface the tap is already connected here and uh, i'll assign ip address ip if config tap 1 10.0.0.1 netmask 255.255.255.0 right so f config right hyper exit from the namespace and also i have to uh, uh, enable loopback address as well right so i'll show you uh, ip net ns execute ns1 ip link set device loopback up so if you see ip address in the ns1 namespace So you can see the loopback as well as the tap interface assigned with 10.0. So stage one is completed successfully. So if from the NS1, if I ping 10.0.0.1, I am able to ping. And also we can uh, check the bridge status brctl show. So the brctl. Uh, uh, in one end of the V pair is attached to the BRCTL see bridge interface okay so I want to see the port actually uh, so max right I have config show max bridge name Sorry, I am wrong. Exit. Okay. BRCTL. So Mac. BR into. So let me check the namespace MAC address. So this MAC address is uh, E1 ends with E181. Right? So ends with E181. So it is connected uh, in the port number one, right? So what is uh, FABD? So it is a tap uh, MAC address. So you don't bother about it. So uh, you are able to see the uh, instance one on the uh, learning switch. Stage one is completed. Stage one completed. Stage two. Stage two. Uh, we have to create this open uh, VS switch and uh, with V. Between the uh, bridge and OVS switch. Right, so stage two. Right. 
So creating rich name OBS GRE. So now I am going to check OBS VS CTL show. So now OBS GRE is created and only local interface is created for now. Now we have to create one more uh, uh, interface and that interface has to connect it to the bridge. Next step, I am creating VEth pair as we created earlier. So one end of a VEth pair is uh, uh, BR tab 2, other end is OBS tab 1. So by naming itself, you can understand uh, which end is going to connect which end, which system. So BR tab 2 will connect to the Linux bridge and OBS tab will connect to the uh, uh, OBS uh, GRE bridge.